What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to grab data from all files in a user selected folder. So let's get into it. All right, on the left, got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a workbook. And let's say for example, you've got a group of teams that like use a shared drive and each team uploads their sales data to the folder. And we've got what, five files here. You got team blue, red, purple, yellow, and orange. And in each of these files, the team will show, um, you know, they have the team name and then their sales. And each of these files is the same, except the only difference is um, the sales are different. So the items, the quantities, the cost, they're going to put out different numbers. And what we want to do is create a macro that's going to allow the user to select this folder, the report files folder, and then automatically grab the team name and total sales from each file in the workbook. All right, so we can go ahead and close this and get started with our macro. So let's call this sub grab, man, grab data from files in folder. And then we'll go ahead and declare our variables. We've got my path as string. my file as string we're also going to have a folder picker this will have the dialog that allows a user to select the folder that'll be as file dialog and then we're going to do sh as workbook or no let's do worksheet sorry and then we'll do i as an integer all right so let's go ahead and set sh equal to this workbook and sheets and the sheet name here is sheet one but let's go ahead and change the name let's go ahead and go with uh, team summary so we've got team summary and then we'll set folder picker equal to application dot file dialog and then we want MSO file dialog folder picker. So then with folder picker and we'll end our with with folder picker we'll create a title so the title of our dialog box will be please select folder and then allow multi select we'll set that to false so the user can only select one folder and then the button name we'll go ahead and go with confirm And I'll add a few exclamation points just so it's easy to, to pick out. All right. Um, so now if dot show equals negative one. So if a file is selected, that means my path will be equal to selected items one. And we'll add a backslash to it. So we'll have our file path. Otherwise, or else, we'll go ahead and just end the macro. And we'll end our if. All right, and we can continue on. So now, with our sheet, so the sheet here, team summary, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to have to clear this out. So say, say we populate this with the macro, right? This this tab. The next time we run it, we don't want to have to deal with old data. So we're going to have to clear the sheet beforehand. So let's go ahead and clear it. So cells, clear contents. And then by clearing the cells, we're going to have to add any headers back. So we'll have, we'll have two headers, one here and one here. We'll have the team names, and then we'll have the team cells. So we'll say cells 1, 1. So this will be 1, 1. This will be 1, 2. 
So sales one one. That'll be our header, and it'll be team name. And then sales one two. will be equal to, let's go with total sales. All right. Now we'll just keep going. So with my file, the one we got here, um, I'm sorry, not my path, my file. So with my file, we're gonna set my file equal to the directory of my path. So at, at first, so, this so my path we're going to be in a directory my file is going to equal to the first file in the folder so we'll set i equal to two at this point because we don't want to start here where the header is we're going to start down one where i equals two and then we'll go ahead and jump into a do while loop so do while my file is not equal to blank so as long as there's a file in this folder um we'll continue in the loop so we'll do um, workbooks open so we're going to open up the workbook and the file name of the workbook is going to come from my path that we got up here and then we're going to tack on my file what we which we get from the directory so we'll just do that and then that workbook gets opened and becomes the active workbook. So with this with this sheet here with sh we're going to do sales i so i equals 2 at this point so we're going to be here so i1 the first column is going to be equal to active workbook sheets and the name of the sheet in these workbooks is going to be team sales. Okay. So all of the books have the same format. So team sales. And then we want sales. Sorry, let me open this back up. Which sales do we want? Let's open another one. So you want to grab one, two, and then two, two. You want the team name and the sales amount. So what we want to do is sales one two and we want the text and then we'll go ahead and copy this and then for the second header so I two we want and instead of one two we want two two but we don't want the text we want the value the actual dollar amount all right so now we'll go ahead and with the active workbook we've got what we want so we'll just go ahead and close it and then we'll we won't save any changes to it so save changes will be equal to false and now we'll want to have to, we'll want to iterate um, the my file and also I so my file will now equal directory again so it'll go to the next file and then I will be equal to I plus one so we can keep going down each row all right so let's see what we got so far make sure we don't have any typos let's run it so yeah the user gets to select a folder so you see how it says please select folder right here and then our confirm button is right here with the exclamation points which we designated here in the code so now let's select our folder we want to get the report files folder so we'll confirm it and then all the files are getting opened up and closed and you see just like that we've got our team names and we've got our sales amounts all right so yeah um let's go ahead and make a few updates so let's say we want to change the font of these headers we can quickly do that um so if i do sales one one font size You can set that equal to 14 um, and then we can also let's also make them bold so then we'll do sales one one font bold equals true 
So we'll do that for both of the headers. We'll just have to change this to two, to two. And then also, did you notice how the workbooks, you could see them opening and closing? Let's go ahead and do um, application. So this is gonna go at the top. Screen updating, we'll turn that off. So there won't be any screen updating. But you have to make sure to turn it back on at the bottom of your macro. So we'll turn it back on to true here. And then let's see how this looks. Report files. Oh, one more thing. Let's update some of this data. So let's go into this one, Team Yellow Sales. You see how it's at 7,913. Uh, 7, let's go ahead and make this 20 here maybe. Make this 20. Uh, let's do 500 maybe. All right, save it. Close it. Let's run it again. And you see, we've got our font change. Our um, now it's bold, and you see our team yellow. The sales amount went up. Let's do one more change. Let's change purple team. Let's uh, change some of these numbers. Maybe let's make the hats 1800. Shoes, let's say they got 300 pairs of shoes. Let's save that. So now if we run it again. Select the report files folder, confirm. Boom, just like that. So yeah, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, catch you in the next one.